Hi everyone, it's Diana from the Second Half Dreams blog and I want to show you how easy it is to print your Amazon FBA barcode labels to your Dymo 450 printer by using Scan and Label. The first thing I want to show you is how to get to Scan and Label. And the way I do so is I go into Inventory, Manage FBA Shipments. This brings up my shipping queue and all I need to do is go up here and click on the Scan and Label tab. As you can see, the scan and label page is pretty simple. All it has is a box where you enter the inventory item that you want to label for and the printer settings tab. When I click on my printer settings tab, I get a pop-up box which allows me to enter my printer label size and I have mine set for width of 57 and a height of 25. Your numbers may be different if you have a different label size. Now to print a label, you first need to tell Scan and Label which inventory item that you want to label for. So you do that by entering into this box either the inventory items UPC, ISBN, EAN, JAN, or Merchant SKU number. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you could get one of these numbers into the box easily. And one way is through your Manage Inventory page. Um, so you would need to select which inventory item that you want to label for and for this example I have a book showing that I recently sold out of and let's just say I had another of the same book here at home that I wanted to send in which means I would need another label. So to get that I just go ahead and copy the SKU number over and paste it into the box and hit enter and it brings up the listing for that book. And then I just need to go down here and click on Print Label. And this brings up a print preview screen. It's a good thing I did because right now my computer is set to print to my laser printer and not the Dymo. So I do need to change that. And now I do have the correct printer, but my label isn't quite right. Um, the text is cut off and it wants to print two labels, label number one and label number two. And this is because my margins aren't set correctly. So to fix that, I go into more settings by clicking on this plus sign. And then I go to margins. Right now it's set at default. And I want to change that to minimum. Now I do have a label that looks pretty good and it's ready to print. But before I do so, I just double check and make sure I have the correct number of copies set. I only want to print one label for this example, but if I wanted to send more in, I would change that here. So I'm going to go ahead and print the label by pressing print. And you should have heard my Dymo printing that label. Now another way to do it is after you build your shipping plan, you found 20 items you want to send in, you've built your plan, and you're ready to print labels. So I just have one of my old shipping plans here. And right here you have the SKU number which you can use, or you could use the EAN or ISBN number that's shown in the second column. So for this example, I'm going to use the EAN number. I'm going to copy it, paste it into the box, And it brought up the new item rather than a book. It's craft paper. And I could verify that also by clicking on the link and going to the Amazon product page. Since it is correct, I'm going to go back to the scan and label label page and press print. It kept my settings from last time, so everything's correct. I just want to print one label, so I'm going to press print. <laughs> And again, you heard my printer printing the label. So that's how you can print labels to your Dymo 450 printer using Scan and Label.